how higher or lower works, right? I've done it before where you get two images of things and then you have to guess if one is more popular than the other, something like that. But there is this other site called More or Less, which is basically the same thing, just with a different name. And we get to pick lots of different options. Who's richer than the other person? Who has more subscribers than the other person? League of Legends for some reason. But what I want to do is go into movies and I want to guess if I can see which movies have a higher rating than other movies based on Rotten Tomatoes score. Okay, we're starting off with The Grudge, which has 20%. I'm assuming that that's the new Grudge because that was awful. I've never heard of shooting the mafia, but I imagine it has to be higher than 20%. That's a low bar. Okay, 73 is a harder one to try and guess because I have no idea what Little Joe is. I'm gonna guess less, but only by slightly. This is gonna be in like the 65% range. Oh, 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 so close. Damn, I'm good. Uncut Gems is going to be more. That got pretty favorable reviews when it came out. I haven't seen it yet. I keep meaning to, and I just keep forgetting. 92%. Okay, I knew it was high, but I didn't know it was that high. Shame on me for not seeing it. The captain uh, has to be less. Just this thumbnail alone. Oh, 71% though. Oh lord. Okay, this is getting- this is getting scary now. My reputation is on the line. The Platform. Very, very good movie. I absolutely love this one. I would have rated it higher than this movie that I've never seen. I would have rated this quite highly up in like the upper 80s. Yeah. Yeah, not the upper 80s, but we're in the 80s. We're doing pretty well. I think Emma's gonna rate less. I think Emma's gonna be in the 70 something range or very, very close to this one, but I don't think it's gonna be more. Oh, damn, 2%? Oh, that stinks. Okay, let me go again, let me go again. To all the boys, PS, I still love you, or shooting the mafia. I already forget what this got. Was it 73? Yeah, okay. Ooh, Jesus. Oh, this is less. Oh, that. 52? This movie got 52%? How dare you give this movie 52%? It's like a 20%. Get out of here. Waves, I don't know what you are, but please tell me you're higher than Rise of Skinwalker. Okay, good. 83. Oh. My. Bad Boys for Life, I remember reviewed well. It was in that system of movies that were coming back out. And I remember a lot of them were really bad, but Bad Boys for Life, I remember getting high-ish reviews. I can't imagine it was over 80. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, looking good there, Jack boy. All right, this is going to be less because this just has painted all over. That's like a 15% movie. A 0%. <laughs> Oh, you don't like that. Zero percent. No one can recommend it to anybody. Oh boy. Jumanji obviously is going to be higher than zero percent, but it was a decent movie as well. I got to meet all four of these because of that movie. That was very fortunate. Birds of Prey and the Fantabulous Emancipation of Harold and Harley Quinn. Yeah, I get it. This also reviewed pretty well. It was a decent movie. I feel like this one was in like the 60s or something, but I'm going to stick with my gut. Ah! Okay, all right, fine, fine. It was a decent movie. I'll give it that. It was fine. Bronze medal. I need to at least get to silver. Uh, Bloodshot is going to be less. I still believe he's going to be more. Oh, not a whole lot more though. Banana split. Okay, we're going to have to try and like use our movie going brain to figure this out. All right. Looking at this thumbnail, it's a movie kind of like uh, Lady Bird, Licorice Pizza, all those kinds of movies. They usually do fairly well. I imagine it's higher than 46%. I knew it. Banana Split, it has that written all over it. Let's, let's search for the movie. After a messy breakup with her high school boyfriend, April strikes up an unexpected friendship with his new girlfriend, Clara. Yeah, coming of age movies, if they're done well, they're really good. Playmobil, get out of here. <laughs> 17%. Okay, you're giving me good ones. This this had more. Nice. The platform. Oh my god, it keeps giving me the same ones and I can't remember. It was it was higher. Like 85, right? 80. Oh, it was the same. Holy god. Okay. The inventor, out for blood in Silicon Valley. Never heard of it. Less. Oh, okay. Uncut Gems was 90. Nice. 92 actually. <laughs> this is gonna be less than 92. 92 is a damn good rating. Anything 75% up is like very good movie. Uh, less? 
Oh my god! <laughs> okay, this is less. Okay, this is just a memory game at this point. Onward got like 90%, didn't it? Yeah, close enough. The end of wedding, or top end wedding. <laughs> the end of wedding? How did my brain make that sentence? Less. Oh, come on! Okay, I give up, whatever. Ooh, worldwide gross. That's a good one. So I still believe made $10 million. Do little I imagine made more because it just has Robert Downey Jr. in it. Yeah. Jumanji the next level? That did fairly well. Yeah, it has Dwayne Johnson in it. I can't imagine anything Dwayne Johnson is in making anything less than $500 million. 21 Jump Street. Phenomenal movie. So, so good. But I don't think it's getting up to $800 million. I'm gonna guessing like $300 million. Not bad. Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh my god, yeah, it has to be more, right? These are like billion dollar franchises. Oh, very, very close. Pi Nothing in 1998 is making close to this. Unless you're Titanic. That came out a year later. Less. Oh, nice. We're on, we're on a good one now. Frozen 2 is making money. Okay, let me see if I can guess it. Frozen 2, I don't know if it made more than Frozen 1. I know it's made more than this, but I'm just trying to guess how much it's made. I'm gonna guess like 800 million. 1.4 billion dollars! I should have known what the juggernaut the first one was. Friday the 13th is not making 1.4 billion dollars. Not in any world. Maleficent, it's Angelina Jolie. That's more than 90 million. God, that's way more successful than I thought it was. Justice League did well, but I don't think we're counting in like the Zack Snyder re-release. Justice League was like all over the place, but I feel like fans just loved it and really went out to watch it. But is it 750 million or is it closer to like six? It could be like eight, let's go more. Oh, I said six. How many do I need for silver medal? 10? Okay, let's go again. This one's fun. Shawshank Redemption was pretty big, but I don't think it made more money. I'm gonna say less. Yeah. That's way less, though. Man of Steel is obviously making money because it was the first Superman in a really long time. Ooh, this is interesting. Last Jedi, very polarizing movie. I hated it with a passion. I think it's a very, very bad movie. Not as bad as Nine, but it was the sort of downfall of that whole trilogy. Visually, great, though. This came off episode seven. Star Wars fever was huge. I'm gonna say more. I think this is up like 800 million, if not a billion. Man. Terminator Salvation. I know this one made more money than I thought it would, but it's not 1.3 billion. Oz the Great and Powerful. I don't think you're making more than 300 million. I'm gonna say less. Ooh, these are interesting though, because these are surprising to me. Guardians of the Galaxy 2, I don't think Lion King made more than that. Less. No way! Okay, Contagion or Argo? Ooh, both great movies. I think more. Yeah, not a lot though. Digimon! Oh, This is really curious, because I don't know how much money the Digimon movie made. And I loved it when I was a kid. And then Summer Wars came out, and wasn't Summer Wars just a blatant ripoff of the story of, like, the main aspect of the Digimon movie? I hope it made more. Oh, Digimon. <laughs> so since we're in this sort of type of game, I got an email from someone a while back saying that they made a newer version of Higher or Lower. It's called Statagories. This is what sold me on it. I very recently rebuilt the game on a new website of my own called Statagories. The Google mode is the Higher Lower game with all the data updated for the whole of 2021. So I'm curious to see this. Okay, so these are based on Google search results. How many people are searching for seven versus how many people are are searching for Apple Watch. Obviously, people are going to search Apple Watch more than seven. <laughs> it's very, very low. I can't imagine a lot of people are searching for that now. Uh, Venus. Who's searching Venus? It has to be Apple Watch as well. Okay, the pianist. Oh, no. This is not a very high bar, and I feel like the, the pianist is much more popular than Venus ever was. Venus is not even in people's top five planets. Why would it be? Other than the name, it has nothing going for it. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Are people searching Diana Ross or midwifery? <laughs> they have to be searching midwifery. The amount of people who have babies every year. Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you serious? What is happening? 
Okay, oh, thank God. Um, Italy, people are definitely searching Italy more than they're searching Prison Break. People wanna go to Italy. Nobody wants to watch Prison Break again. Okay, Nike are being searched a lot. They have to be. They make kick-ass shoes. Yeah, now we're talking. 1.8 million, let's get out of that size. Okay, Family Guy, are people still searching Family Guy in the millions and millions? It's probably like 20 million, right? Oh no. <laughs> Oh God, is Family Guy dead? Is Family Guy over party? Let's do something in my wheelhouse. We'll do movies first and then I'll do gaming because we've been doing movies already. But this is just based on search results. And um, people are searching Natalie Portman a lot because of the new Thor. Yeah, Sofia Vergara. Is Modern Family still going? I feel like Natalie Portman has more Staying power than Sophia, but Sophia's doing a lot lately. I'm gonna I'm stick with Natalie. Yeah, Natalie gang. Uh, Eternal Sunshine is a spotless mind. I can't imagine many people are Googling that these days. Great movie though. Charlie Chaplin. He's always kind of culturally relevant, right? Yeah. Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's very specific. I don't think many people are searching this specifically. Yeah, 8,000 people. Who's searching that specifically right now? Toy Story, always gonna be more popular than everything. Okay, we're doing good. Primer, oh man. I'm, no, the Toy Story's winning this, by the way. I'm a huge fan of time travel stories and sci-fi and like interdimensional stuff. Primer is the best time travel story in any movie. Any movie that deals with time travel or time dilation or anything like that, Primer is the best movie you can watch for that. But having said that, it's an incredibly confusing movie. You're looking at this strictly for how this would play out in an actual grounded real life scenario. And I highly recommend anyone watch it. Damn, good for you. Such a great movie. John Travolta. Are people searching you a lot? How many people are watching this video right now who have no idea what Primer is but know who John Travolta is? Exactly. I'm trying to play the game here. Helen Hunt. She's popular but she's not John Travolta popular. Yes, okay. Sticking with my brain. This is actually the highest score I've gotten in any of these games so far, so I'm already on a personal best. Star Wars is... Oh, no! I had to say it! I got so cocky! Um, alright, let's do gaming. Now we're definitely gonna get some high results. Okay, Hearthstone, Heroes of Warcraft. Like, does it have to be this specific search? Because I feel like Hearthstone is still pretty popular, right? But Giant Bomb also do... Um, I'm a... Oh, no. All right. Yeah, this is how I feel. This is me right now. Okay, The Sims or Devil May Cry 3 Dante's Awakening. I'm gonna play the game that I've always been playing, which is that people are not searching this exact thing. Maybe Devil May Cry 3. People are definitely searching The Sims quite a bit. Also, Devil May Cry 3 is, yeah, <laughs> is the best one in the franchise, I think. Fallout Shelter, Sims. Nice, got it, okay. Nintendo, of course Nintendo. They have Nintendo Directs all the time. People are searching Nintendo above all of these. This is, okay, well, you're gonna switch this one out now though. Okay, Borderlands is probably more popular than the Super NES because it has a movie coming out and Tiny Tina's Wonderland just came out and was being hyped. Yeah, I don't think many people are searching an NES right now. Soap McTavish, oh my God, this is getting really obscure. Which one is more culturally relevant? Probably this. I can't imagine people are searching for Soap McTavish that much in this day and age. Oh, come on! I need to get to 10. I, I just have to. GameSpot or GoldenEye? GameSpot just because people go there for the, their news. Okay, quick round. Sonic? Absolutely Sonic. Yes! Okay, this is easy then. Yes! Okay. See, now you're messing me up. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter. <laughs> Are people actually searching that exact thing? Duke Nukem. Yeah. No one's searching for this exact thing. Dreamcast. Yes! Okay, we're doing well! I just need to get to 10. I just need to get to 10. Double Dragon, what is that? RuneScape, yes. People still play RuneScape. PlayStation VR, yes. Come on! I give up, I give up. Yeah, I give up, I suck. Let's do YouTubers. I feel like I know YouTubers pretty well. Obviously, Mr. Beast has more subscribers. Okay, 92 million. How up to date is this? How up to date are we talking? 
We are currently- Okay, we're not that up to date because he- Well, it could be in a week and he gained three and a half million subs, but- Alie has less, but quite a bit. Yep. Fail Army. Oh, okay. Fail Army are popular and people are watching a lot of the compilations, myself included. But I feel like no one's really subscribing for them compared to this. Oh, that was close though. That's more than I thought. Uh, Ryan Higa. Absolutely love Ryan. He's a legend. I can't remember how many subs he has on YouTube. I He has over 20 million though, right? Yeah. React. I don't think React have more than Ryan. Ooh, the Ellen Show. Okay, this is getting tricky because this could have 40 million or five. Are people really subscribing to the Ellen Show on YouTube? That's what I need to ask myself. No. Oh my God, I was almost close with 40 million. Okay, these are two that I don't know. Uh, less, 38 million is quite a huge amount of... Oh my god! There's so many channels on YouTube now that have so many subscribers that I'm just not aware of. Oh my god. Hey, it's me! <laughs> oh, that's so weird that I actually showed off. I have more than Dan Howell. I know how many subscribers I have, which is 28 point something million. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> Philippe. Nito. For the sake of my own ego and to make me feel good about myself, I'm gonna say less. Okay. <laughs> End the video. That's it. The video's over.